people do this? How does the other side fit on? channel if you are new here hello I'm so happy that you're here as you can see from the title we have a fun video plan today and I am joined by the one and only Gianna Schiller hey. I will link all her social medias and her YouTube channel in the description below so make sure to follow her and subscribe to her channel so today I have roped Gianna in <laughs> to decorate so gingerbread houses with me look at this it's, oh my she bought, oh, hers is a mansion mine's a mansion because I'm bougie so. it's I opted for the cheap one from Michael's for $5.99. I, I don't really know how this works. It's gonna be great. We're gonna explain. I've never all done this. To you. So please do because, because my she's gonna have to guide me along this. <laughs> it's journey, gonna be great. So. And to make it more exciting, we thought that we would answer some Q and A questions. So we had my TikTok followers, my Instagram followers, send in questions, and you guys sent some really, really great ones. So it'll just be fun, a relaxed environment. Yeah. We're gonna be decorating this and just it's asking really each fun. other questions. I ideally wanted to do a bunch of videos for Vlogmas, and that's unfortunately not gonna happen. I didn't. <laughs> plan soon enough, but I want to do some Christmas themed videos. Got my yes. new Christmas intro, so we're Let's here. First we have to show is. our outfits that we're wearing. Oh yeah. Show us. Okay, so okay. mine, I have to stand for this. It says okay. resting Grinch face. She's got her cute <laughs> little ornament earrings. I do have little balls on my ears and a little pair of antlers it. sitting on top, the little clips. So yeah, that's what I have going on in my um, situation. I'm serving you a sparkly Santa hat, which I am trying to look in the viewfinder if it looks cute. But my shirt says, owl I want for Christmas is you. Wink. <laughs> Wink. I bought this shirt, I think, freshman year of college for a Christmas party. Oh. And I've had it since then, and I love it. So, yeah, we're going to get started, and I guess enjoy the ride. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. We'll have you guys maybe vote uh, on your favorite at the end, yep. but you know what? It's also not a competition. This is Gianna's it's first gingerbread house decorating. Trash. <laughs> we'll see how it's it gonna goes. It's going to be fine. Let's open them up. Let's and open them. See, I've have been, questions. honestly, like shifting this box around for the last kind four of days. Things. Mine has like so many like assorted candies you have to put on it and whatever it's else. It's unboxing. Whoa. This, little, this is intense. Bead things. Why did I open two sides? <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh yeah, and I forget you can build it on, like I think you're supposed to build it on this little thing. It's what kind of design do you think you're gonna go for? I don't know. <laughs> Box ass on it. To be quite I honest, I feel like uh, that's a good vibe. Look at this. There's like a whole. Oh, like, yours is like recreated and ready. I am intimidated by this. This is this is a lot. There's even more like colorful frosting. Yeah, where did you, you decorate? Get, where with? did you get your box? Target. From? I get everything at Target at this point. She so of... I have all these like assorted. So I probably won't use all of these. So feel free. Oh, I have these cute little oh peppermints. Oh, oh yeah, I'm obsessed. Hers came with like these little holly like. Yeah, I love those. Looking things. That's half the reason I spent an extra eight dollars on it. You gotta put it together though. It doesn't come together. You gotta put the red things with the green. Surprise. I'm nervous. Okay, I'm gonna read the directions okay. and let's see. <clears throat> Step one: <laughs> cut icing bag. Have talent. I have <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna see what happens mm -hmm. if I rip it. I don't know how I'm supposed to put this together. That goes there. They even give you step-by-step -step instructions. This is amazing. Well, they must, me. oh no, no, this is the roof, isn't it? Okay, that's the roof. This is the front. Okay, okay, it's gotta go like that. I understand, I understand. Okay, so I'm gonna ask us a first Q&A question okay. while we get ready. Okay. What is your favorite Christmas movie and why? Ooh, I would say for sure the Jim Carrey, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That was a classic, most quotable for sure. But I also love It's a Wonderful Life, the Jimmy Stewart one. I'm a old movies girl, yeah. like all the way, so. What is your favorite Christmas movie, Emmy? My favorite Christmas movie is, honestly, Christmas is the Cranks. I've just always loved that movie. Or White Christmas, I think is just a classic. Oh, the dancing is impeccable. It really is. And it's just like, it's such a good feel good holiday movie and I just, I love it so much. So definitely, I think those two. Yeah, that's good. I love that. I love that for you, that journey. It is a good journey. What isn't a good journey is me trying to- I don't, just I don't know together. how people do this. 
Well, How much are we supposed to? See, my mom did out? say, "Why aren't you just buying ones that are already pre-made?" But then what would be the point? Just decorating. But I was like, "You're right. Oh. I just had to put it together." I didn't think about that. I'll let you know if this works, and then you can use this icing okay. because eventually it'll dry together. What if I just like put some in here to like seal it together? Yeah, you know what I mean. Plus, I have like a Who full-on knows? mansion. Like, how much frosting am I supposed to Gee, use for this? At worst comes to worst, we just decorate some gingerbread and eat it. I did have one person ask on mine how we met. Well, Gianna and I met in college yes. together. She was a grade above me and yeah, we were both in the theater department. And so yeah, we met in college, mm -hmm. did a bunch of shows together there. And then we both ended up staying in the Twin Cities and just kind of like reconnected there. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're supposed to hold it, like just piece it together. I was trying. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way in heck a roof is sticking on this. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold it Don't for two minutes you. while we ask another question. Okay. What is Let's your favorite one. holiday food? Well, my family, we always do like Italian food for Christmas, which is yeah. my favorite. So I love the mostaccioli. That is oh, yum. so dang good. And my aunt's meatballs, when I say these are the best meatballs you will ever yeah. have in your entire life, like everyone like will take a bite and smile. Like that's oh literally God, how yum. good they are. Nothing can beat them. That that's what I gotta say about so that. So good. I feel like I'm doing this just in a really whack way. Okay. <laughs> Regret. <laughs> It might have been we'll a bad see. idea to not buy one that was pre-put together. But if not, we're gonna have a fun holiday Q&A. <laughs> what about you? What do you guys normally eat? So my family, this is another question which we can go into too, is like, mm -hmm. do you have any family or holiday traditions? This is on my dad's side. It's my dad and he has two siblings. So on Christmas Eve, we'd either go to one of our three households. So all my cousins would oh, be sure. together. And then on Christmas day, we'd go to my grandparents' house. So it was kind of whoever's house was hosting. It was their choice of what they wanted to serve okay. for dinner. And we kind of have all over the board food like we for a while we did like lasagna that seemed to be a popular thing we did tacos sure. a lot just because it's easy but yeah so we kind of just you know did whatever yeah i don't want to say it's together but it looks together i have one wall done there's no pressure um, for it to be actually put together it's fine this is the oh, side for the right? love of jesus no! <laughs> no man down i don't know was i supposed to put icing on the bottom first I don't think so. So that it sticks. Would that have helped? This <laughs> might be a gingerbread fail. That could be the title and that's okay. I'm so nervous to be doing this. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna commit. I love that for you. And it's it's okay. What is this supposed to be? Um, a fun cookie to There's eat. four. What's the box look like? That's what I'm wondering. It's like it has instructions that I'm supposed to follow, but oh. <laughs> She understands. <laughs> it clicked. So this is like the front. Because she looked at the box like she was from the side. <laughs> Where is like the door? Oh, I did this wrong. This is supposed to be the front. <laughs> I get it to stick. Oh, no. The <laughs> this no. is supposed to be this. Got it. Okay. Okay. Another question someone asked was, what is your favorite Christmas album? Mine for sure is the Michael Bublé Christmas album. His like smooth, sultry voice is just like butter. And I love it. I truly love it. I think I'd have to agree. Otherwise, I'm really into Pentatonix's Christmas oh, albums. Oh, yeah. So those I think are just two that I really, really love. Mm -hmm. Someone else asked, do you have a favorite Christmas song? I would probably say, it's so hard because like, I, I mean, I would probably pick one from Michael Blaze, in which case I think, unpopular opinion here, that Michael Blaze, All I Want For Christmas Is You is the superior version. And I say that because it's like, the way that he described it once, it's like sadder, it's like more like, sure. the true like longing of like wanting to like be with someone for Christmas is like, okay. I don't know, there's just like something so like captivating about it. I also love pretty much any of Ariana Grande's Christmas and Chill, like Santa oh, yeah. Tell Me is That's a, a straight fire bop. That yeah. is a bop. See, look at her. She's doing it. And no, I have like no, no. Every time off. I let go of it, it slides down. Oh, God. Like that. This is not going well. <sighs> Do we think if I put the other roof side on that it will stay better? I don't know. I'll yeah. just hold it here. Did Could you have a question? Are we able to do like non Christmas questions? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be a mix of like regular Q and A and Christmas questions. Yeah. So. I like this question. What inspires you? I think just all the possibility that there is in the world, and that you can go after whatever you want. You know. Mm -hmm. So I think that's inspiring to me is that I could do whatever or decide to have a dream and go after that. I love that. I'm also inspired, I think, performance wise, just by people that I look up to and just seeing really strong. 
strong actors or performers. There's just something so inspiring. Or just honestly seeing someone like out there living their dreams, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's just so inspiring to me. It really is. What about yeah. You? I'd probably say the same thing. Like other people, I don't try to compare myself to them, but just like see what other people are doing and like find inspiration in that. Oh, I'm getting okay. so nervous because mine is not gonna it's not gonna be popping. How do people do this? How does the other side fit on? This video should actually be titled How to Fail at Making Christmas Gingerbread Houses. This is why we got degrees in theater. I think my plan of attack is to just seal in the corners and hopefully that helps like seal it together. Simply the most complicated thing I've ever done. Gianna yeah. is putting me to shame. <laughs> not really. This thing is wobbling. This is like really hard to do and answer questions at the same time. I'm not going to lie. It's questions okay though. Too. And I think we're still funny. Yeah. Oh, we're hilarious. I don't mind. <laughs> okay. We both have a frame like you know what I mean yeah knock on wood not Gently. on this <laughs> someone asked if you, you weren't a performer what would you do pretty much some of the other outlets that I've been trying to do currently for yeah. me like I'd probably be a makeup artist well it's so hard because like I also do these things but, like yeah. maybe I put more efforts into like being just that slash sure. like modeling and stuff yeah that's probably what I would say. What about you? I feel like I would probably do the same. Like I'd just focus more on modeling or I don't even know. I think that's what I would probably do. Well, here's what I don't understand. How am I supposed to put a roof on when this side looks like this? How am I supposed yeah. to balance it? What are we supposed to do with that? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm supposed to break it off and put it on the top. <sighs> okay. Do Girl. I, do I let go? One I finger at a time. I have a feeling it'll work out. <laughs> There's no moving of the table allowed from this point out. No. <laughs> Absolutely no movement Simply allowed. Simply no movement allowed. I was a little skeptical at first, mm -hmm. but I think we're both gonna do it. <laughs> well, I'm not eating this piece. <laughs> Wow, not going good. Just oh gotta God. tell you, it's starting to come apart from the weight of this roof. This is so stressful, you guys. People do this for fun. My icing is running and it's not the vibe that I wanted. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll show you the end product, maybe we won't. You never really we'll know. We'll see. <laughs> Yours sure. is turning out really well. I'm still working. I, why did I have to go and get a mansion? If you saw the back of this, you just wouldn't yeah. approve. If I was you, I'd be concerned too. It's like it knew. <laughs> it hates me. How am I supposed to put this up here? Bring the other out. side is falling too. <laughs> it's gonna turn out to be a uh, a fail. It's too heavy. No. Well, that's why I understand. Like, why is it so? I'm so sick of this. <laughs> I can't do this. Oh my gosh! I knew this was gonna happen to me. How did the whole thing have to fall when I did this? You tell me, okay? You could turn Why? it into a gingerbread cookie decorating. That's true. It doesn't have to be a house. It can be whatever you want it to be. This whole thing is falling. Like, as soon as I got the roof on there, it was like, no sister, no. Gianna's never gonna speak to me again. I'm like, there's some tension in the studio today. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Do you want to decorate it as cookies? I guess. Or you can try this again. This is a mess. Now it's done for. It's okay, good. well I'm just gonna decorate cookies. That's, that's what you gotta do. That's you know what, what I'm doing. Like, it's fine. Half the fun is trying to put it together. Is it? <laughs> I don't believe you. I should have just bought the one that was already built. But no, here I am. <laughs> we got a lot of these little fun things. I know. And that's cool. Are you eating some of it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Why not? Haven't you? Not yet. It was good. Okay, let's see. Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Yeah, it's a nay for That's me. That's a nay. I'm sorry, yeah. but like, some people are so like, how dare you disrespect pizza? And I'm like, I just don't. I'm not a huge pineapple not, fan anyway. I'm not either. I'm not a big so. citrus like flavor. And then on top of like with a red sauce, that just is like, well, first off, there's heartburn waiting to happen. And <laughs> two, it's just, no. Look how cute this is. You're going to get to see the other side of it. <laughs> 
makes it there. It's been a long day. It's been a long, we've been doing a lot. We've been at this for a hot minute. Hours. How do they do these designs is my question. I don't like, even know. In the picture. They definitely bring in like professionals because the you, average human simply, like, simply cannot exist. Never. The limit does exist and it ends with me <laughs> decorating ginger <laughs> So if you'd like to take a gander, this is That's how I'm doing so That's far. That's cute though. Is it? <laughs> I think she's lying to me to make me feel better about myself. My ego has taken a hit. Okay. Remember when you were like, you're outdoing me. And I was like, oh, just you wait till I get to the roof. Hey. It was happening though. But how many times did mine that's fall apart? Like the roof. True, but like when mine falls, it's like, okay, you have to start completely over. This side is 100% falling apart. It's like leaning inward. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna mess with it. Let's see, what other questions do we have? What are you most proud of and who's your biggest inspiration? Mm -hmm. Start with what are you most proud of first. Is it bad that I would say that the thing I'm most proud of I don't think has happened yet? Like I'm proud of a lot of my accomplishments, but I don't feel like any of it's like the thing yet. I don't know, there's not like an event that's happened where I'm like, I am so proud of this. But I mean, I would probably say as far as like what stuff I'm proud of, it's like growing my outreach of people who want to feel good about themselves and find like a self-love journey. I feel like that's probably like my thing I'm most proud of right now. I just feel like there's more to come and as far as who what was the question again <laughs> who is like your biggest inspiration I would probably say like my mom is up there because yeah. like as far as like what kind of person I want to be but as far as like with what I want to accomplish in life and like the things I want to say my first earliest inspiration is Ashley Graham because she was kind of like the first plus size model that I saw that was like doing this kind of yeah. stuff you know and like there's been a lot like more great ones after her that have continued it on but I think she was like the first known one for me so I feel like that's kind of as far as like my goals in life I would love to do what she does that's a great one yeah what about you I don't know if I have a specific person that like inspires me the yeah most. like I feel like it's just like gender everyone and like just people who are living their dream. What am I most proud of? I'm proud that I could make a career out of something that a lot of people told me I couldn't. That's a good one. And just like, I think like young Emily would be like proud and happy to know that like, oh, you know, in high school when you talked about working at all those places, well, like, guess what? You're going to do it, you know? Yeah. And I feel very lucky and blessed for that. But yeah, that's, I think what I would say. I love that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm stealing some of these. Go for it. I have so many. I did a door or something. Or a window. It's cute. It's so Christmassy. <laughs> I think so. I love it's it. Okay. Not my best. And I can't even eat them because they fell on the floor. That's fine. That's very disappointing that I couldn't make this happen. Oh. I believed in myself. It's I really did. It's not quite yet Christmas. There's time to try again. That's true. This house is a representation of 2020. A dumpster fire. Just <laughs> barely holding together. <laughs> Will they she come out okay? Do it. I can't. She do doesn't it. know. No. She doesn't know. Will she make it out alive? Probably not. Probably not. Oh, it's totally falling apart. And we're just gonna watch it fall apart. I wanna see this in slow mo. And it's still falling. to me. It was clotting this whole time. It might just chill like that. It might stay. Well, you know, <laughs> it's falling apart. It just like, I don't know if you can even tell, but it literally just slowly slid open. All these gumdrops started falling in. This side of the house is literally at, it's like at a <laughs> T angle, mm. just like hanging on. I don't even know how it's still apart at this point. I think it's safe to say that none of us will be pursuing a career in the culinary arts, in the- I mean, I might. <laughs> pastry arts. We'll stick to the fine, fine arts. arts, in fact. This was thoroughly a fail. <laughs> 
It just didn't want to happen. No, it didn't. Burn. When I watch this footage back, I can't wait to see what it looks like, frankly, and how mad we look inside. Slowly dying. We are frosting like all over all our hands. Over my hand. But you guys, we decorated a gingerbread house. <laughs> no one did. said it had to stay apart. That's true. I was able to do some. She did some. I think this is super cute. The front this of yours is front, like looking really great. This window. It's super cute and thing. Christmassy. It fell on the floor though, so it will not be edible. Yeah. In this, who knows? This is just going in the trash. Was that what that's supposed to look like? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Well, you guys, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for bearing with us. I know it was an absolute fail, but I hope you guys had a good time. We had a good time yeah. doing it. It was, it was good to laugh and just hang out and try to a bit build spice. a gingerbread house, which mm -hmm. didn't work. No. But we're happy that you were here. Again, stay tuned for more holiday videos on my channel and make sure you are subscribed to Gianna's channel and are subscribed to my channel. Thank you all for watching and yeah. we will see you all next time. Happy holidays. Bye.